but I really like to work with people who hate each other rather than those who feel indifferent about each other. Because when they hate each other, they really got a passion. And they're really concerned about the other person caring about them. And actually, they're afraid the other person doesn't care about them. Which is very fascinating sitting over for them where I look, because if the other person didn't care about them, they wouldn't be upset and angry. So the fact that that person is upset and angry is how much they value you. So what I want to do is help them make that transition to looking at it in a new way. And I focus on two things. One, the difference between requirements and preferences. Because if we've got a difference in requirements that are not negotiable, this is not going to work. But if we can get our fundamental requirements in place, and most of the time in my experience they are, everything else by definition is a preference. And you don't go to war over preferences. So I've got a video on my blog, UpsideDownTimes.com, that's about don't go to war over preferences with handouts and worksheets for people to use. I also have there a link to a series of communication models, six stages in reaching a supportive agreement, five levels of a clear communication, and most important, three questions that eliminate misunderstanding, because that's the foundation for most of these hurts and pains that people experience. So taking these changes can really change a person's experience emotionally and transform the quality of their relationship.